Hey guys, it's Bug Namster here, and I got a few treats from Thailand Unique that I wanted to share from you. Let me go ahead and do one at a time. And first up are the Chinese yellow scorpions. Let's see, no preservatives, no coloring. They're boiled and dehydrated instead of fried. There you go, Thailand Unique. The scientific name is Mesobuthus martensi. Uh, other common names are Chinese scorpion, Chinese armor tail scorpion, Manchurian scorpion, and several others. It's found in northern China as well as parts of Mongolia, uh, Japan, and Korea. And interesting about this particular species is it was used in Japanese traditional medicine as a muscle relaxant and uh, pain reliever, stuff like that. It does have a very mild toxin. It's not fatal to humans. And I'm going to go ahead and open these up. So. I brought scissors just in case. Now, there's supposed to be three in here, and they're pretty small. You can actually, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a little container. They sound like they might be in pieces, so I don't know if they survived the trip. Pull this out of here. The body is a hole. Come on, focus. But the tails did fall off and the pincers and stuff like that. So if you wanted to look pretty, this wouldn't be the best option. But if you just want to taste them. I've really got them in here good. Come on. This is ridiculous. I think you got it. Spoke too soon. Ten minutes later. Let's see, I've got tape all the way around this thing. And it's on there good. kind of feel like a chimpanzee at the moment. I feel like I should just start hitting it with the stick. There we go. That looks promising. And they're free. Alright. I'll go ahead and throw this guy out. Let's see. 
I don't know if you'll be able to. I'm going to turn the autofocus off and just tell it where to put it. All right. As you can see, it's still got its legs on there. And it's head, no pincers, and tail fell off. Go ahead and show you the tail. So it's still got quite the barb on it. I think I'll be taking that off so I don't stab myself. And then here's the pincer. It's just a little guy. But now for the moment of truth. Focus off again. Now, I don't know if you can see in there. Let me find it. I don't think you're going to be able to. Right. There. That's what appears to be an egg. And scorpions. Especially this species. And to my knowledge, all of them, although there may be exceptions actually give live birth and then carry their young on their back it tastes like something familiar but I'm not really sure what Mushrooms, maybe. The other little guy. Go in for the tail. Took the stinger off. My camera's retarded at autofocus. And really, you could eat that. Like I said, the venom's not fatal, and cooking denatures the venom anyways. But it looks quite sharp, and I don't want to stab myself. So here's the tail. Very crunchy, like a potato chip. It doesn't have as much flavor as the body. I don't know if you can hear my crickets in the background. I only have a few. Yeah, it's good. Like, I can't quite taste, place the taste. It's something like mushrooms, maybe a little bacony. 
like a really crispy bacon. No. Lots of little tiny bits in here that didn't quite survive the trip. These would definitely be worth breeding especially since they're relatively safe. I don't know how the sting is rated. I mean, it was used as a muscle relaxant, so it can't be that bad. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Mm. All right. Wiki Pets just says non-lethal, but strong venom, so no indication of the actual punch that this thing delivers. Uh, the only problem is that they're really difficult to find live. I wasn't able to find any sources that currently had any in stock. And I know that they're red listed in China because of over harvesting for food and medicine. So you would want to make sure you are getting any from a farm raised source. I saw some that they weren't in stock, but they said that they were wild harvested, and you wouldn't want to do that because they're already being over harvested. So make sure if you go and get any, make sure they're from a farm and they're captive bred. And I think that's it for this particular specimen. I've got a few others, and I'll get to those.